I'm going to select on this screen when the option comes up. I'm going to select the trailer cameras. So it's that okay. trailer icon there. And the camera is mounted right here. Okay. So you have both in there. And it's nice you can adjust them as well. So you can see how wide of an angle you can see. You can see the front of his trailer over there. Yeah. Um, since, I since I selected the trailer uh, cameras, you'll see on the screen in front of you, you have to select the trailer now. You can program up to 10 trailers. You just press OK on the SD. That's the one we named, uh, that's the name we gave as trailer. And you'll see this icon comes up. So okay. it always defaults to this. This is giving you your, um, your gauge on your trailer angle and how close you are to jack anything. Yeah. So if you want, we're going to start backing up. I want your wheel crank to the left. Oh, we're in neutral now. Nope, sorry. So just keep crank your wheel all the way to the left. Yes. Yeah. And we'll just start backing up nice and slowly, and I'm going to get you to stop when that white line is about a quarter way into the red. Okay. So just keep an eye on this. You don't need to worry about your mirrors. And just go nice and slowly. And you're going to see as the trailer moves farther away, yeah. the cameras do adjust. Yeah. And you can also control it manually. That's perfect there. Okay. So if you look behind you, you'll see how close you are. You're about eight inches away from Jack Navy right now. And if you go all the way to the top of the red with this trailer and truck setup, we're about two inches away. Okay. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. So what you can do is if you want, you can drive back forward. And I'll tell you when to stop. I like how it's split the screen 7 yeah. 30 automatic. And it's nice. Yeah. I mean, if you have like a 50 foot trailer back there, you have a nice view of everything. Just went to yeah. 50, 50, That's good there. Stop. I don't want to speak per completely straight. So now what we're going to do is we're going to back up again, but we're going to back up straight. You can see we're not on an angle. So go back okay. to reverse. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And I'm going to select this. Oh, before you back up, I'm going to select the steering wheel. Okay. So now this is going to give me the information I need to back yep. up straight. It's going to tell you what to do. So right now it's telling you to turn hard right. And you'll see as this blue arrow gets smaller and smaller, you just steer less and less. Yeah. And then once this lights up, you want your wheel to be straight. And it's going to happen quickly as the arrow gets smaller and smaller. Okay. So you got to start steering, unsteering. Turn winding. There you go. Nope, you're one full turn to the right. Now you're straight. You can see how easy that it, that is. And it's going to adjust as you back up as the trailer's moving around back there. Great for those little CD trailers backing down a bolt ramp. So those are the hardest things to back up. The shorter the wheelbase, the faster it swings. So you can stop there. Now you want to see how close we are to those cones back there? Let's pull up our uh, auxiliary camera. So that's our auxiliary camera. We mounted it nice and high back there. It took us about 10 minutes to install, and you can mount that however you want. So we can't see the, uh, the back of the trailer yet. I mean, it doesn't yeah, so aim right, down at Yeah, at so the way we mounted this is we mounted it nice and high to give us a big view of everything. Yeah. If you're... If your need is you want to back your RV up to a wall, you know what? Mount it differently. Mount it pointing straight down at the bumper so you can see that bumper and yeah. the wall, right? Yeah. So you can mount it however you want. 